Hi, this is Todd from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another episode of a Star Wars story. In this video, I'll be telling you the story of the Mandalorian Super Commando, Gar Saxon, who is most notably seen in the Son of Dathomir comic book and Star Wars Rebels. As always, we're mixing the expanded universe and canon because we believe that there's no reason why most of it can't fit together, but Gar Saxon's story is mostly canon anyway, so let's begin. Gar Saxon was a male Mandalorian who became a member of the Death Watch during or before the outbreak of the Clone Wars. He was one of the highest ranking men in Clan Vizsla and served the then ruling Mandalore, pre Vizsla. When Darth Maul and his brother, Savage Opress, joined Vizsla in his campaign against the pacifistic world of Mandalore under Satine Kryze, Saxon was present and worked with them to reignite the Mandalorian warrior past. After Death Watch took over Mandalore, Pre Vizsla betrayed Darth Maul and his brother, which ended in a duel to the death, in which Darth Maul defeated Vizsla in one-on-one -on -one combat. At that moment, Maul claimed the Darksaber and took over Death Watch, but not everyone agreed for an outsider to be the new Mandalore. Gar Saxon was not one of them and stood by Maul as one of his highest ranking men. Darth Maul then formed the Shadow Collective, but his victory was short-lived because soon after, Darth Sidious arrived to stop him, which he did and imprisoned him in the prison fortress of Stygian Prime. Gar Saxon and Rook Kost were sent by Prime Minister Almac to free Maul from his imprisonment, of which they were successful and escaped without a problem. After freeing Maul, Saxon took him to their secret Shadow Collective base on Zambar. Soon after, the droid army under General Grievous followed, and a brutal battle ensued in which many Shadow Collective died. Saxon escaped the battle alongside Maul and some other members. Their next stop was Ord Mantell, where they planned their attack on the Separatists, in which Saxon and his men were almost killed by the droid army, if it wasn't for Maul, who somehow managed to deactivate the droids. In that battle, the Collective managed to capture Count Dooku and Grievous at the same time, and transfer them to the Mandalorian asteroid outpost called Vizsla Keep 09. Soon after, the Republic attacked their base of operations with Jedi Generals Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ayla Sakura, Mace Windu, and Tipli. In that battle, Tipli was slain by Count Dooku, who briefly sided with Maul. The Jedi were knocked out by a missile fired from Gar Saxon and his troops, which allowed them to escape. Later on, the Shadow Collective would dissolve when Separatist fleets attacked the Black Sun and Pike Syndicate, who were key members. Maul would go into hiding, and Gar Saxon would join the Galactic Empire as soon as it replaced the Republic because of his desire for power. He would be appointed Governor of Mandalore by Emperor himself and enforce the Empire's will. In the years following, Saxon would have a rivalry with Fen Rao, the leader of a Mandalorian faction called the Protectors. In 2 BBY, an opportunity would emerge for him to eliminate the Protectors because of their assistance to the Rebel Alliance. Gar Saxon and his Super Commandos attacked the Protectors camp on Concord Dawn to lure Fen Rao but his plan got complicated due to the fact that Fen was accompanied by Sabine Wren and Ezra Bridger. After some fighting against the rebels, Saxon, out of respect for Sabine's family, offered her to join him, which she declined. The rebels were able to escape, leaving Gar Saxon as he watched them flee. When Sabine traveled to Cronest to rally Clan Wren to the rebels, her mother Ursa Wren contacted Saxon of her daughter's arrival with two Jedi in order to regain some honor. After the arrival of the Imperial Super Commandos and Saxon, Clan Wren were deemed as traitors against the Empire for housing rebels and Jedi. A battle took place in which Ursa was almost killed with the Darksaber by Saxon if it weren't for Sabine wielding Ezra's green-bladed lightsaber. A vicious lightsaber duel took place between Sabine Wren and Gar Saxon in which blasters were used as well as jetpacks and other tools. In the end, Sabine bested Saxon, and instead of ending him, she spared his life which was not the Mandalorian way. That angered Saxon, who attempted to shoot her in the back with a blaster, but was shot by Ursa Wren, killing him immediately. Anyway guys, this is it on the story of Gar Saxon, and I hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you want to watch more videos like this one, 
The link to the playlist of our other Star Wars stories will be in the description down below. And also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for even more videos like this one. And remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video. You rebel scum. This party's over.